So hello and welcome. My name is Ruth Pasuelo from Curval.com and today it is Friday, which means it's time for another Dax Fridays. It's not only Friday on Dax Fridays, it's also Power Week, which means that the Power BI desktop team has released a new version. This time it's the October 2018 and they do have some uh, improvements regarding DAX and that's what we're going to discuss in today's video just in a second. Okay so welcome back the Power BI team is busy again and they are uh, they have done improvements to the DAX editor so what we'll be able to do is we have new keyboard shortcuts I have a video showing key keyboard shortcuts for DAX Make sure you check that out. I'm guessing that they still work. I haven't tested them actually. But they will have new ones. I will go through them just in a second. And there are line numbers and indent lines. And they say that the experience will be similar to other Microsoft editing editor tools, like for example Visual Studio. So I'm going to demo some of it and uh, make sure you go and check it out and you let me know what you think about all those new awesome updates. Uh, let's jump into Power BI. So here we are in Power BI and we're going to take a look at the new DAX editor. First things first, let me pick here. One of the things that I think the best thing that they've released is the, you know, that each line now, it has a number and also, you know, the indentation line. So you can actually, it improves readability of DAX measures and it also will encourage you to format the DAX measures the way you should. So I think that is brilliant. Thank you very much, Power BI team. Awesome. Together with this, they also release uh, shortcuts. DAX shortcuts and 10 DAX Fridays videos ago, that means DAX Fridays 92, I actually made a video showing you a lot of shortcuts that already worked on the editor. I haven't tried this on this new editor. It would just surprise me they don't work. I just, you know, give it a go guys if you haven't already. I mean, I'm sure they do. What, those shortcuts are available in Visual Studio, so if you work on Visual Studio, you will know them. And I have actually added a new column, and what it says is Star October. It means that this is a shortcut that they release now on the October uh, download or October update video, but I've already shown you that on Dark Fridays 92. So go there and check them out. The ones that I'm going to review is the ones that are new for us, which is uh, 19 to 25. So the rest, and there, there are a lot, as you can see, the ones that are blank, it does the ones that I've shown you before that they haven't talked about, but you have everything here. This Power BI file is available for download in the new download center. If you don't know what that is, look down below and you'll find the link and all that stuff so you can download it. Okay, me stop talking and <laughs> start showing you the shortcuts. So again, if you want to see 1 to 18, go to Dax Fridays 92. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how these do not work with me <laughs> because they do not work. But that's another story. Okay, products, new measure. Copy, line up and down. I have already copied a uh, DAX Fridays oh, uh, uh, measure. So we are going to use that as an example. So they say copy line up is shift alt up. So we, we are in there. We want to copy count A. So we are there and then we click shift alt and then up and yeah, it copied it. And then shift alt down, it will copy under, up, down. That works, gorgeous. Okay, uh, delete that. And then it says control, enter, we're here, new line. Control, enter, new line. Also alt, enter works but then it's a new line on the beginning. I'll show you that on the video. So 
Ja. Onder Dark Friday is 92. Oké, okay, nu line below control enter new line above control shift enter gorgeous isn't it and these they do not work on the previous editor i can tell you that much because i tried it so you have to have the october update to be able to make these two work jump to match in bracket control shift and then this backslash Control shift and look where my backslash is. I mean, there is just no way I can access that. So that's a that's a no for me. If you know an alternative hotkey for that, just let me know because for me that that that's a no go. Insert cursor, Alt click, Alt click. Okay, so what what that? I, oh. Oh, gotcha. Check this out. Yeah. That's nice. And now I can write? Oh, that's cool. Okay, you saw, th you saw that, right? That's quite nice. And then control... Is that an I or this is an L? Control... Ah. I, you saw that. Uh, that was... Product. I don't know what it was supposed to be there. Who cares? Um, you saw that, right? So you are there. And if you want to select that, control. Really good. So now you know. Again, Dax Fight 92 to get all the hotkeys available. I'm hoping that these two work. I haven't had the time to check it out. Let me know if some of them do not work. And to get this file, download center, curva.com download center. You will find it easily. Okay. And this is over today. I will see you again on Monday. Have an amazing weekend. This is going to be a sunny weekend here in Sweden. So ooh, looking forward to it. Bye.